Hello! Today we are going to see how to create custom library components um, for Blazor applications. A custom library of components for Blazor applications. So, the first thing we are going to, to do is create a Blazor web assembly application. So, yeah, custom Blazor library demo <clears throat> I will select web assembly and since it's just a demo I am not going to select the um, the ASP.NET core hosted <clears throat> we wait for the solution to load and then we will create our library. So <coughs> we have our project. Now we have to add a new library. So <coughs> we'll add a new project. We'll use, we'll find the Razor class library. We hit next. Custom Blazor Library. Okay, yeah, done that code 3.1 and we hit create. Now you will see that as soon as we create that library, we have the such as the www root where we have a background and example JS. styles, the imports, and a sample component. Now we'll create a new component. I uh, will name it um, Razor, let's see. It's not the race. I was looking for a template for Razor. Uh, here it is Razor component. Okay. Custom grid. Now you see that we have this custom grid. Now <clears throat> we can do things such as um, added a class and my custom grid styles or however we want to name it. I'll add that class to the style CSS. Uh -huh. Okay. I'll set background color. I don't know. Red. And that should set the background color for the A3. Red. And I believe it's text color. No, it's color. Okay, and uh, now something we need to do is we go to our uh, client project, we add reference to the custom library, and whenever we want to show that, let's choose the index page, we will add the grid. In this case, we need to set the full uh, whole project root. Let's see. Um, okay. Let's compile. Let's see that everything is okay. <coughs> Wait a couple.
couple of seconds and then we will uh, see that we have now here the custom grid and now we will run the application so now we should be able to see the text that is in that component So we have here the title. One thing that you will notice is that the color didn't uh, is not is not in there. That's because we need to go uh, to our index HTML in our client project, and we need to add a link to the actual file content uh, it's prefix content we need place for library styles.css and we'll set it to a spreadsheet a style sheet I'm sorry and yeah content custom place for library styles.css uh, so library styles.css so let's see how that goes Now you see that we do see the changes in the grid. We see the class. If we actually go to inspect it, we will see that this my custom grid styles comes from the styles.css, which is under that uh, URL, which is the URL defined for the um, component styles for the class library component styles um, so yeah that's the way to create uh, class libraries for blazor now of course uh, if you want to implement a grid you will need to do something like a table right or some uh, bootstrap uh, grids add some variables in here to set the um, the data and then iterate, iterate through the data to render some components. Uh, in a future video, we'll actually show you how to create uh, some interesting components uh, using Blazor. Thank you very much. I hope the video has been useful. Uh, have a great day. Please remember to subscribe to the channel, hit the bell so you get notifications as soon as there are videos uploaded. Uh, share the channel, share the videos, like them, let us know in the comments things you would like to know about .NET Core, Azure, uh, Unity 3D. Thank you very much and have a great day.